Hey everyone, this is my reaction to the 12th episode of Uma Musume Pretty Derby. So, in the last episode, the focus was pretty much on Special Week and Silent Suzuka both practicing and preparing for their respective races. And Suzuka's was up first, and that is the one we got in the last episode, her comeback race, which she did win in a great fashion, so pretty much everybody was excited for that, everybody was rooting for her to do well, and it was just, it was a great outcome really. And now, well the episode ended with Special Week about to do her race against the favorite to win, uh, Broya, I think she was called, something like that, you know, the, the blonde horse that El Condor Paza had issues with. Anyway, that's the race we're going to be getting this time, the Japan Cup, and... Hopefully Special Week does well, because Special Week is love, Special Week is life, and hopes she has a special race. 3, 2, 1, play. And the first thing... I'll turn the volume down a bit. First thing we get is a crowd roaring at me, so... I'm awake now. Um... Ouch! Wow. Nice. Can we get another panning shot of that, please? <laughs> uh, no wonder she's so good. That's some pretty intense training there. Anyway, I gotta get out of focus again. <laughs> really? That's a bold claim. Yeah, what are your thoughts on Special Week? Okay, Special Week, you definitely gotta beat her up after hearing that. Well, not beat her up like fighter, but, you know, beat her in the race. Just beat her up sounds better, so that's how I phrased it. Although, I mean, if you want to get into a horse fight with her, you know, I'll watch that. Although, I think if they actually came to blows, uh, Brian might win. We saw her work, my workout routine there. Well, part of it. <laughs> and always squirting her. But yes, that horse is a little bit arrogant, to say the least. I just love watching the, the main horses just run past the unimportant horses like they're standing still. Stage of dreams. Stage like a literal stage, like we're finally going to get some more idle stuff. Uh, Mom? Well, we'll get there. Maybe a little bit of a tear on your pants, you know. If one was a bit higher up. <laughs> but yeah, I can't let go of that logic, you know. Yes, like mother, like daughter. Of course. Is she? Oh my god. <laughs> uh, clearly she's referring to Silent Suzuka there. Hmm. Yeah, the Japan Cup, that's what she's be she's gonna race in. I feel like foreign horses shouldn't be in a race called Japan Cup, but whatever. Yeah. She is good, I can't deny that. <laughs> uh, I mean, she warmed me up pretty well in the beginning of the episode. <laughs> and she has blonde hair like uh, Special Week's mom. I find that interesting. I'm not implying anything with that, it's just, you know, interesting. 
That's right, people are rooting for your daughter. Boy, or she took that the uh, the worst way possible. Good play. Yeah. That's how she took it. They don't have faith in her. Oh, she's meeting the mom. That's definitely some progress there. I don't think she knows it's uh, Special Week's mom yet. Uh, I currently live with your daughter. We're in a very special relationship with Special Week. I forgot to mention this, but yeah, I'm so glad we're finally having the mom come to a race in person. Yes, she does. <laughs> I can imagine all the things she said about Suzuka in those letters. And you did. Good job, Special Week. Like on a stage of dreams? Uh, she has. In certain places more than others. Chubby belly. She can, but a certain blonde horse is going to make it more difficult. I mean, she's lost a lot of races in this show, but don't worry, she's totally got this one. So, so, indeed. <laughs> wow, with those horse ears, I'm sure you can hear well. Man, that was wrong, never mind. If she was asleep, you'd still hear her. Urara, that character that I thought was going to have a lot of screen time when the show began, and that's not been the case at all. <laughs> Shut your mouth. Oh no. That depends. Is it cute girls doing the distracting? Because I'd be okay with that. She she can probably assume that. <laughs> Indeed. Well, there you have it. Yeah. Oh, they're coming out. <laughs> Why are you all in front of my room? <laughs> I'm not going to be kidnapped again with a bag over my face, am I? And that's saying a lot, actually. Oh. Oh, of course, that's it. Did she actually tell her or is she trolling her here by telling her something fake? My god. Mm. Are you sure you have this special week? I'm more worried than I was before now. Well, it was only like 12 episodes ago. <laughs> uh... Yes. Uh. <laughs> and the crowd goes wild. She's something, all right. Well, it's horse girls. Of course, it'll be fun to watch. <laughs> There's mom. He's right there. Like in the back. Yeah. I guess that's probably for the best, but... I mean, uh, hopefully she'll at least see her after, after the race. <laughs> Don't worry, you'll get around with her eventually, I'm sure. Maybe not in the actual show, but in life in general. And here we go. Special week, nowhere near as gaudy, but... She'll take off her cape, nonetheless. <laughs> yes, that Japanese pride.
And try not to trip. That's all I ask, really. <laughs> yeah. You don't have to tell me twice. Let's just jump on up there. Hope nobody notices. <laughs> that was really cute. Yeah, just Kamehameha them again. <laughs> uh, it's five times funnier when Suzuka does it. There she is, and she moves quickly. <laughs> uh, she just sitting, standing there in Special Week's dark tunnel, waiting for her. Something about her hair, I just want to play with it. No words need to be shared between us. She looks really cute in that shot, actually. <laughs> you got this special week. Today's your special day, I'm, sh I'm sure. <laughs> Hold in the picture. Yeah, that's all she cares about. <laughs> yeah. Well, that lines up pretty nicely with her dreams, so it's no problem there. At the very least, I'm not going to trip. And they keep showing us her a lot. Yeah, well, I have the volume at like a little over half right now because of how loud they are. Uh, I could just watch the old horse girl stretch for like five minutes straight. I'd be okay with that. I remember that. Her blonde hair and blue eyes. Love that too. Early, middle, late game. <laughs> These spaces are pretty short. <laughs> Uh, bonjour. Wow. I, now she's fired up, as is at least half the crowd. Okay, th let's see this. <laughs> uh, good job, El Condor Pasa. Uh, that's, that's a great way to say it. <laughs> Uh, well, that was a great little scene. <laughs> oh no. Oh god, what have you done? That was horrible. Uh, but she's so happy with herself. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's, that's great. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I don't know why I found that so funny. Just walking up to random people and saying it to them. There she is. You better be up front. I wouldn't forgive you if you missed out on this race. And now my heart's beating quickly because I'm very nervous. Please win, special week. 
Especially after uh, that smack talk against Broya. <laughs> the unintentional smack talk. We need you to win. Uh, there we go. That's a look we saw. <laughs> uh, why English? <laughs> Uh, it's not where I, I wouldn't mind being there. Great choice, great choice of words, trainer. She's actually in front of her right now, which is surprising. <laughs> uh, they're gonna hold a grudge from that. <laughs> uh. That may have actually been one of the funniest things in this show so far. That don't get too cocky thing. But we know this isn't her top speed, so... Just think of Suzuka and I'm sure we'll get her speed boost. Yeah, those are eyes of determination. And here we go. Yeah, what are you going to do now? <laughs> yeah, that's why you're not supposed to get cocky. <laughs> she can do it, but will she do it? Oh uh, yeah, she's probably gonna make her move soon. That's when things get difficult. What a nice horse. Huh. Yeah, get wrecked. Yeah, I bet she's clutching that picture hard. I know I would if I had one. <coughs> Come on, special we can get another boost of speed. <laughs> well, that's a good thing. Yes, you are. No, you're not. But you are getting too close for comfort. <sighs> Here we go. Just a little bit further. <sighs> then. Hopefully not, but she's getting way too close. Uh, hopefully nothing bad happens here. <laughs> I'm starting to get nervous. Getting Suzuka flashbacks. Man, it's a really cool effect when it cuts out all the audio, but the heavy breathing. And there we go, there's our Suzuka boost. That's what we needed. And we got our, uh, the wind currents, what do we call them? <laughs> Man, she is fast. <laughs> yes, everyone hug each other. And even who are us there. And now, run into Suzuka's arms, special week, like, without slowing down. Just jump over the barrier. Oh. Or you can do that. That makes more sense. <laughs> Man, all the people. Yeah, see, wrecked Broya. <laughs> she was right to not get too cocky. Uh, give it to her. No, she took it from you. <laughs> Still does not know what that means. 
Uh, yeah, I think that's a picture of uh, Special Week's Southern Mother. <laughs> yep, she's the best in Japan, like she always dreamed of. And are we actually getting an actual idol performance? The aspect of the show has been neglected for some reason. Probably not. I'm not gonna get my hopes up. Ah! <laughs> Indeed. Going to Disneyland. Uh, I'm gonna marry Suzuka. I would die if she actually said something like that. Trust me, you've been giving me dreams. <sighs> uh. Don't get any tears on the picture. Yep, and that's the, those are the other little horse girls around the world that are be, being given dreams by Suzuka. Much like with, by Special Week, much like what's happened with her when she was a little horse girl. Man, it's a great looking stage, and I think we actually are going to get some idol stuff. Here we go. Turn the volume back up. And she's come a long way since the first race that she qualified for. Huh. Uh, I kind of want to just get a jump on stage with her. And sing, hold the hands. Uh. Man, it must be great to be in the middle of that group hug. But yeah, of, of course we get still images instead of actual dance and animation, but oh well. <laughs> uh, that's a great picture right there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, take down, mom. Okay, a little bit more. Uh, that was wonderful, special week. Oh, I'm going to take that the way I want to take that. Sometime later, very specific. Wow. I feel like this was a big, fairly big time skip. Uh, a lot of familiar names. So that was the 12th episode of Uma Musume Pretty Derby. And this episode, it was obviously a special week focused episode because this was her, her big race, the Japan Cup, which she's kind of been working for for a while now. And this episode, we actually got to see her mother actually come to the race to watch, which is something, if you've been watching my reaction to the series up till now, you'll know that's something I've been kind of hoping for. 
And we got that. We even got some simulators between her and her daughter as far as, you know, getting to the racetracks and all that. And I think it was I think they said that the trainer was the one that kind of invited her over. But yeah, we did get to see both the trainer and Suzuka meet Special Week's mother, and I'm also quite happy about that meeting, Suzuka and the mom. That's obviously obviously big progress in any relationship when you get to meet your waifu's mother. But anyway, they she obviously didn't want to to meet up with Special Week before the race itself, I guess, because that would probably be too much on her mind then. Like, you know, no, we don't want any distractions for Special Week. We kind of we talked we kind of talked about that as the other horse girls were kind of standing outside Special Week's room. But yeah, basically, we want Special Week to be in top form because she has taken on Broya, very much the favorite to win, the blonde horse, the one that took down El Condor Pasa, who was very salty about that as we. We kind of learned in this episode just how much so. so the, because we had Special Week ask her, Hey, how do you say, uh, what was it that she asked? Something about, uh, how do you say, let's have a good race? Or something like that. And then she whispered her how to say it. Well, how to say something. But it turned out what she actually told her how to say is, Don't get too cocky, pretty much. <laughs> Which was great. The, the fact, Especially the fact that she has no idea what she's saying. The fact that she says it to other girls. Uh, and the fact that they were salty about her saying that to them. It's like, you know, it, it was really funny. I wouldn't say it's the, my favorite thing, my favorite gag from the show. I think that's still the, uh, especially week being tied up, well, with a rope. That's still probably my favorite gag. But this was this was definitely top five. I quite I quite like that. Of course, what was also quite funny was Suzuka like taking after Gold Ship and doing the trying to shoot positive energy rays or whatever towards uh towards special week, which was funny. Her her doing it was pretty funny because how she usually acts, but also it makes sense because you know she has plenty of feelings to give special week. I'm sure so. Definitely makes sense in that regard. Of course, what was quite nice was uh, Broya giving Special Week, uh, you know, the special greeting that Japan seems to think that every every country that's not Japan does, which is not really the case. But uh, although I think France is one of them that does have a kind of a bad reputation, like in general, we did eventually get our race, the Japan Cup, where Special Week and Broya were like the only ones that had any chance of winning this, and it was as usual it was a fast, intense race. Now, one new thing they added to it was kind of that. That one effect where pretty much all the audio was completely cut out except for Special Week's heavy breathing. And of course, then you had Suzuka like cheering around in the background, which kind of suddenly lit up everything back with color and sound and everything. That was a really cool effect. I really like that. And of course, the best part of the race was just Broya getting defeated, getting wrecked like that. It would have been pretty awkward if Special Week told her not to get too cocky and then lost. So I'm really glad that she won. I'm glad that she won for several reasons. Uh, especially because that means that we got our idol performance where Special Week was on stage. Now, it wasn't exactly like the 5 to 10 minute idol performance I was hoping for that we get in the series, but it was something at least, and we did get it. And, you know, what we did get was pretty well animated, we could, and even the still, sh the still the still shots we got, uh, I quite liked a couple of them at least, so that was good as well. And, yeah, it was just, yeah, I, overall I was happy with it, I suppose. Now, this was the 12th episode of the series. I'll be honest, I don't know if this is supposed to be the last episode or not. Most shows that are end at 12 episodes, with a few of them ending at 13, and then you have the two core shows. I don't know if this is the last episode, because my anime list just has question mark for the number of uh, episodes, or unknown, whatever. So, I don't know. It seemed like it could be a last episode, but I I'm not sure. But uh, if it is the last episode, I'll say that I greatly enjoy the series. Definitely in my top three of the season, and hopefully there's more episodes. Uh, that's all I can really say on that, I guess. So yeah, I'll just say this was a great episode and a great series. Thank you for watching, and thank you Snoki, the Dragon of Oshu, as well as everyone else, for doing what you can to support the channel. It means a lot to me, and I hope we can continue to grow the channel together. If you want to do more to support the channel, then you can become a patron on my Patreon, and get cool rewards like early access to certain videos. Have a good one.